Folks, good morning. I was in two minds whether I were gonna. At like this side of Christmas, I've not I've not done one of these videos, one of my tin foil hat videos, and I've been in like two minds whether to continue with it or not. And the, and the only reason why is just because I've got other things that I can be focusing on. Um, it's not tiring. I do enjoy speaking and getting things off my chest, so it's decent. I won't say it's tiring. But I'm just like uh, I won't say I will fit, I'm feeling defeated by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I've just I was just thinking, oh, what's the point? What's the point? But I get messages regular from from people who say thanks for thanks for the video. I'm surrounded by people who are just who think I'm an idiot, or I'm surrounded by people who think. Uh, I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist <laughs> or you know I get a lot of messages like that so I know that do, I do know that people do need to hear it uh, whether it's from me or uh, and I also fully understand and appreciate I'm just a small voice in a big ocean of noise but if it helps one person um, then that's important so <clears throat> all I wanted to talk about today and I, I, whenever I do these videos I want to try and always put um, I want to always try and put the, the the message out in the in the best way possible, so it's it's received in the right way. I don't want to send out messages like this where people are thinking, "Shut up, you prick!" or "Who's he think he's talking to?" Because I I don't know about you, but whenever I sit and watch or listen to anything that comes out of the the, the television that's related to. The current circumstances from the government and the government's expert advisors not paid advisors which it should be paid off advisors corrupt advisors but it's not it's always expert medical advisors i always get pissed off i do always get pissed off listening to it and the reason for it is because i know i, I just cannot stand the way that they speak to us i hate the way they speak to us and that's why i will always deliver I'll always try and deliver my message with love coming from a place of genuinely caring because I do and that's why I'm back again even though I'm thinking I might just you know sack it off uh, even though I'm still aware of what's going on and I might post a few little bits and pieces just doing these videos um, I was just thinking about knocking them on head but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm, I'm back today and the reason I'm back today is because I watched a bit of that news co conference yesterday at five o'clock probably watched 10 minutes of it before I started like just shaking my head and <laughs> you know, just could I could just feel myself getting getting worked up about it and the easy thing to say there is well just don't watch it just don't watch it and I've stayed away from it all over Christmas and New Year for that very reason because I didn't I didn't want to even feel slightly pissed off and cheesed off but I do but I, but I do feel like I want to know what they're saying and what's coming out of the mouth and the reason that I do want to pay a little bit of attention is so when I do pass these messages I'm passing on my genuine thoughts not stuff that I saw somebody say here and there now don't get me wrong I follow some very credible people through social media channels uh, through uh, channels like BitChute and Rumble which are uncensored channels so you get it don't get me wrong there's some stuff on there that is a bit far-fetched that even I'm just like you know right, it's a bit, bit, bit heavy for me that a bit too far that there's a lot of genuine good content on them platforms that is uncensored that if you put it on somewhere like youtube or facebook or instagram or twitter you'd probably get your, your account suspended temporarily or permanently we've seen with a number of these uh highly 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 credible experts who are not paid to speak on behalf of governments we see a lot of these through these channels and the reason for it is because they're getting censored and suspended from social media channels there's a couple of examples uh, that I could give you uh, I'm, 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 I'm actually uh, not going to say any names because I know the algorithms on social media pick up certain things and they'll censor this video even though it's just little old me they will censor the video uh, if I use certain words or certain phrases certain names they'll censor it or, uh, they'll, they'll not not necessarily totally censor it but what we call a shadow ban 
so it won't reach as many people as it should reach so I'm, I'm obviously being very careful what I'm saying I'm not using certain words and names and, and so on but all I would say is go on, go on to Spotify and check out the most popular podcaster on Spotify if you're not sure who that is he's a commentator on the UFC mixed martial arts he's a big martial arts fan himself he's an American guy go and check out his podcasts uh, particularly number 1747 and 1757 and watch those videos they have also been censored from Twitter YouTube and anywhere else they get posted up they either get uh, shadow banned or the comments get uh, the, the, the comments or posts get hidden or removed and you've got to be questioning yourself now why the fuck is this happening why can people not question the, the, the narrative why can people not question the, the government paid officials why can't people question them if uh, I posted a, a, a video recently with a, with a quote on it the truth doesn't mind being questioned a lie doesn't like being challenged and there's no truer words than, right, than what's happening right now you've only got to look at what the French Prime Minister or French President has just come out with to his people what he's just come out with he said, basically saying we're going to make it for those that are still unjibbed we're going to make it even more awkward for them because that's what we need to do I mean like you know there were a guy back in 2020 middle of 2020 a Canadian guy who spoke about exactly what has happened and exactly what is going on called it uh, a slave class talked about it being a perpetual cycle where you keep doing as you're told the, cri the grip gets tighter next time you keep doing as you're told the grip gets tighter next time I think that's why the British government have not gone as heavy just yet because there's been mass pushback and whether you believe it or not you're not going to see you're not going to see this you're not going to see the pushback through mainstream news channels you're not going to see or hear about it on the radio you're going to have to search for, for yourself and you can go to places like telegram there's a new uh, social media platform called getter joe rogan has even moved across to that because and i've said his name i hope that may well this may well get shadow banned now because i've used his name because that's how much influence this guy's got he's taking on big tech and governments himself with the interviews and the podcast that he's doing um but he's moved across to the platform called getter g-e-t-t-r because it's very similar platform to twitter minus the censorship and he's even put on there that he's on here now just in case things get pretty dumb on twitter because they are trying to censor big players now he, he, he is a massive influence he gets uh, I read something the other day an article the other day he gets 11 times more eyes on his content than what CNN News do in America which is huge so you can see why they want to put a damper on him because he's not spinning the narrative he's really challenging it with the conversations that he's having and getting censored from everywhere uh, but the French President Prime Minister came out with that statement yesterday Boris Johnson of the UK yesterday uh, went as far, you know, from a coercion point of view. He, he didn't. He didn't say. Uh, he didn't exactly let it roll off his tongue, but he just said, "Look, if you're not boosted now, um, chances are in the." I can't remember exactly how he worded it, so don't quote me on, on this. But pretty much saying, if you're not boosted in the next, you know, short while you're not going to be able to go on holiday so they're using that one again if you want to go on holiday get boosted so now the people who are double dosed who did the right thing or who thought they were doing the right thing so they could travel uh, so they could uh, go see family so you know for whatever reasons they chose to do it they're now being coerced again oh by the way you lot who have done as you're told so far you better do as you're told again or else we're going to take this privilege away from you so if we're not seeing it now, guys, then, you know, fucking hell, come on. And, and all, the only message I want to pass on today is just please, please be as non-compliant as you can. That goes to the mask wearing in particular. Be as non-compliant as you can. And certainly when it comes to your children, because what they're doing now is they're trying to indoctrinate all this 
normality, which is not normal, they're trying to drill it into your children because obviously they're the next generation. If they can get them now while they're young, if they can manipulate, control, and get your children right now while they're at that age, a, a young age, then they're going to be far easier to control in the next five, ten years when they become adults. And that's exactly, that is exactly what all this mask wearing at school is all, all about. Boris even said not so long ago in, a, a, in an interview we were doing himself, teachers can't teach wearing a mask and children can't, can't learn. He said it himself. So why are they going back on it now? Why are head teachers and headmasters and headmistresses, why are they now going back on that and making their pupils wear masks in the classroom? It's fucking disgraceful and disgusting and that is something that really, really does wind me up. And the reason for it is because that is the literally coming after your children. There was a section on the news as well yesterday, kids getting tested before they're going to the lessons at school. It's not on. It's not right. It is not right. They're trying to, they're literally coming for your kids. When people have said to you at the beginning of all this, all the conspiracy theorists, tinfoil hatters, have said at the beginning of all this, they're coming for your children next. If you tolerate this, they're coming for your children next. And that is exactly what they're doing slowly but surely in the schools right now. That's what's happening. So guys, I just want to send the message with love. And again, I just want to ma massively promote, and I don't care. I really don't care who this pisses off. Because, like I said, I were in two minds whether I should continue doing these videos. And the reason I have done it today is because I care enough. And if people have got a problem with me caring, then you probably don't need to be uh, following any that I put out there, any of the information that I'm putting out there, any of these videos, any of this content I put out there, if you don't like it, don't follow it, don't watch it and don't follow it, because the only reason I'm chucking it out is because I really, really give a shit about what's going on, not just for me and my family and my children, but for you and yours, that's why you see people like myself doing videos like this, and like I said to you, Will I make much of a difference in a big ocean of noise? Maybe not. Maybe not. But if it helps one person, if it helps one person, if it protect, pr protects one child, helps you to understand how you can protect your children, then it's a job that's been worthwhile, a video that's been worthwhile. So apologies it's gone on as long as it has. Uh, sending the message we love. We're still in a... Boris said yesterday, if you think the virus has done... You, 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 you're terribly wrong, however he put it. Can't remember exactly how he put it. But basically saying, anybody that thinks we're out of the woods with this pandemic is terribly wrong. We're far from it. So the, the, they're going to come heavy again, right? They are going to come heavy again. The French Prime Minister or President has said what he said to his people. The Canadian one's a fucking lunatic as well. And then you've got the Aussies, the state premiers in Australia, who are going crazy. You've seen what's happening in Holland. Riot police and police dogs savaging the population. So things are going to come more heavier over the next couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever it's going to be. And the reason for it is because they know there's been a huge, huge pushback. And we've just got to keep gathering numbers of people, not about who's, who's had it or who hasn't had it. It's not about it. It's no longer about who's had it or who hasn't. Because anybody that still thinks all this that's going on is about a virus, you, you're wrong. You're just wrong. Please, please take my word for it on that. It is no longer, if it ever was, it is no longer about a virus. It's about controlling you. It's about dictating to you. It's about manipulating you. And data, human data is now the most precious or the most sought after um, product, if you want to call it a product, on the planet. And that's what big tech Big pharma, governments want. They want all your data. They want to know exactly what you're doing, when you're doing it, what you've got in your body, what you're spending your money on, where you're going. They want to know all of that. Why? I cannot wrap my head around it. But that's what it's all about. Power, control, money over you and what's worse, your children. And if you're okay with that, I'll happily say this, we have got nothing in common. If you're okay with that, if you think that's okay, we have got nothing in common. All right, some of you probably don't care anyway. 
but for you guys uh, that you know still follow my stuff and, and we're still you know friends and all the rest of it I just I'm, I'm passing this message with love because I want you to come to your senses and open your eyes we're at, I think we're at a critical point over these next couple of months where if people just continue blindly obliviously doing as they're told walking in to the slaughterhouse then we're in for a, a, a world of a pain for his children more so than anything think about that think about your children all right sending the message we love off to the gym and i'll see you all again soon